Hi August, here's a book for you for tonight. It's called Little Bat in Night School. It says this book is dedicated to teachers who bring light into the darkness. And your mom's a teacher, isn't she August? Cool. Little Bat was ready. He had everything he needed. Except maybe some patience. When is it sunset? Is it time to go yet? How about now? Now? School is going to be such fun. How about now? I can't wait to meet the other bats. Shh. Mama Bat yawned. Awakened for the hundredth time. Rest. When night fell and they finally arrived at school, it was bigger than Little Bat had expected. Well, hello, the teacher smiled at him. I miss C. In the classroom, Little Bat saw a pair of raccoons some owlets, and a ferret. Where were the other bats? There they were, over by the wall. <sighs> he let out a breath. Hi, he said. I'm Little Bat. Want to play? We're already playing, one said. With each other, the other added. Little Bat flew into the cubby to hide, but someone else was already there. Hi, how are you doing, he asked. I'm just hanging out, she replied. Oh, Little Bat said. Is it okay if I hang out here too? I guess so, she said. But why aren't you there with them? I don't know anybody, said Little Bat. I want to go home. Me too, she said. I'm Ophelia. I'm Little Bat, he blinked. Hey now, we do know somebody here. Circle time, Miss C called. Everybody gather round. She flickered on more lights. Guess we have to join them, Little Bat said. Wait, bats explode in light, Ophelia cried. <laughs> Little Bat laughed. That's just a myth. If you go, I will. Deal, Ophelia agreed. Little Bat and Ophelia stuck together. Miss C taught them to sing the seals on the bus. They talked about pattern, patterns the stars make and why the moon changes shape. <clears throat> then it was time for show and tell. I have a po half a popsicle stick. I've got the other half. I brought a car. You copy me. I brought a car. You copy me. We found this in someone's backyard, said the raccoons. I have a bumper shoot. Did you know a bumper shoot is another name for a ra uh, umbrella? Little Bat hadn't brought anything to share, so he held his wings wide. Then he said, these are my floaties. 
The others gasp. Do they help you fly? Do they help you keep warm? He shrugged. No, I just like them. Neat, the other said. And this little raccoon said, I have a cephalopod. That's what these are called. Looks like a little squid. During math, they practice counting. Four, five, nine, seven. Psst, turn it around. Ophelia whispered, oops, little bat, bat laughed. Four, five, six, seven. At nap time, everyone found a comfy place to rest. Look at There's little bat. He's on the letter K. It's hard to see though, but that's where he is. And there's Ophelia. She's on L. Then it was time for art. Little bat threw himself into making prints. Looks like he painted himself. He felt, he loved the feel of the squishy clay. There he's making a sculpture. And Ophelia's making a sculpture. Aren't they good? But little bat, looked up and saw what someone else was making. I stink at art, he cried. I quit. Hey, don't get upset, the ferret said. I've been doing this a lot longer than you. And you know practice makes perfect? Little Bat and Ophelia groaned. No, practice makes better. The ferret said, everyone can get better. That's what makes it exciting. I guess I could try again, Little Bat said. As at munch time, Ophelia held something out. This is delicious. My mama found it on the road. Want some? Um, no, thank you, Little Bat said. But I'm glad you like it. He pushed the straw into his juice and it squirted. He grinned and squeezed it harder. He really squeezed it. Hey! I'm so sorry, little bat cried. I didn't mean for that to happen. Mrs. C leaned in. It's kind of you to help clean up, she said. It was kind of funny. Time for recess, Miss C announced. What do you want us to do, they asked. Use, let's use your imagination, she replied. Is this being graded? If there, is there like a specific project you want us to do? What's the goal here, teach? Is there a right way to do this? Recess is boring, a raccoon groaned. But look at all the great stuff, Little Bat pointed. I bet we could build something. They got busy. The two other bats came over. Can we help? One started. 
With what you're making? The other finished. Of course, Little Bat said. Grab something to add. The round rug made a perfect racer track. Story time, Miss C called. Everyone grumbled. Aw, just as we were getting started. But they gathered around Miss C, opened a book, and... Oh, let me start that over, okay? But they gathered around as Miss C opened a book and took them far back into the past. Could the heroes escape before the time door closed, trapping them forever? As the pterosaurs gained on them, a ray of morning light fell across the pages. That's part of the story, isn't it, Gus? And we'll have to leave the story there for now, Miss C said. No, everyone pleaded. Just a little more. Don't worry, the story will wait for us. Miss C smiled. Time to gather your things. There's a, there was a pretty good night after all. I'm just going to start that again. That was a pretty good night after all, Little Bat remarked. Are you going to come back again tonight? I will. I will if you will, Ophelia said. Deal. Little Bat leapt out into the air, his head buzzing with all that he had learned. He couldn't wait to be back in night school. You won't believe that my, what my friends eat. My best friend likes to hang upside down too. There's a song I can teach you. Somebody almost got in trouble for spilling juice. And then he's telling his mama all about his day at school. Do you tell your mama all about your day at school? I bet you do. The end.